back everyone five of our local high school football teams have made it to the month of December two of those schools are Southern Columbia and Dunmore who met back in 2017 in this same state semifinal game the Tigers handled the Bucks but now Dunmore gets its rematch that game in 2017 was the final one for coach Jack Hensis Dunmore a nine game winning streak heading into tonight Southern again just a one loss season first drive for Southern inside the 10 it's Loudon Murphy the handoff and he goes six yards for a touchdown. Tigers out in front, 7-0. Southern gets the ball back. Eric Garcia powers his way in for two yards. His first score of the night. PAT no good, so it's 13-0. The trio of running backs is what makes this Southern offense deadly every single week. It's Carter Madden's turn, bursting down the sideline for a 21-yard touchdown. Southern's lead grows to 19. We're still in the first quarter. Back to Garcia. He turns on those Jets, goes 48 yards, stiff arming an opponent all the way into the end zone. You can't arm tackle this guy. It's now 26 nothing Tigers, and like it's been all playoffs, the defense, tough as nails. Isaac Carter brings down Thomas Bowen for the sack. They give up single-digit points for a fourth consecutive week. 32 nothing Tigers, one more for Garcia. 11 carries, 189 yards. This his third touchdown of the night. 39 zip at halftime. Southern wins it 39 to 7. They face Westinghouse in a rematch of last year's state championship. I felt we got off the ball better tonight, and I thought our backs ran harder. They all three of them just ran extremely hard tonight. They they certainly looked that way. They just looked very aggressive and no holding back. And um, that's that's the best our offense looked uh, in a number of weeks. We knew our offense needed to step it up. Our defense was kind of we were relying on our defense a lot the past two weeks, and we knew we needed to come out and make a statement that we have a pretty good offense. And once our offense starts rolling, the whole team plays amazing. We're outsized, I think, most of most of the games we play. I mean, they had a great defensive front, but our, our offensive line just capitalized on it. I mean, we shook them the first couple drives, and they didn't know how to respond. Make our way over to Class 4A. Dallas just survived the Bonner Prendy team in overtime last week to keep this undefeated season alive, and it did not get easier tonight against the defending state champs Bishop McDevitt. 14-0 Mountaineers, 13-0 Crusaders from Northern Lehigh High School. First quarter, it's Bishop McDevitt on the board first. Nazir Jones Davis from three yards out finds the end zone. It's Crusaders seven to nothing. Tied game just before the half on third and very long. Brady Zapatiki puts one up there for Nick Farrell, the bobbling grab. He brings it down. That's six points, not seven. They missed the PAT, but still up 13 7 at the break. Third quarter, fourth down for Stone Saunders. Check out this throw. Can't put a ball in a better spot. Rico Scott drags two feet in bounds. Corner of the end zone. That's a score. We're all tied at 13. We would go to OT. 16-16. First drive, Zapatiki finds Zach Pacheski on a three-yard pass. That's a touchdown. It's 23-16 Dallas. Now it's McDevitt's turn. Saunders back to Jones Davis on a screen pass. Puts on a full display of moves. Takes it 12 yards for a touchdown. It's 23-23. We go to a second overtime. McDevitt. Trying a field goal, but it's blocked by Dallas. Coming up with the huge play. That keeps this thing knotted up. And now you just need points to win this game. Rowan Laubach to send Dallas to the state championship. Through the uprights, the Mountaineers take down the defending state champs and are now one win away from bringing a state title to Dallas, Pennsylvania. These kids are unbelievable. They always said week one and week two, Oh, when, they, when they pull those two out on the road, I mean, you got heart and guts, you got a chance. And they're just, they're, they're unbelievable kids. We're, we're, we're so blessed to live in Dallas and be part of the greatest school district in the state of Pennsylvania. And our kids just proved it. But we're not done. We're not done. And I guess those guys should have went to work on Monday. Oh, Rich Manello, those guys should have gone to work on Monday. Good for Dallas. On the other half of the 4A bracket, Seals Grove facing the Aliquippa Quips, an early deficit for the Seals, down 12-0, but they get on the board. Mark Pastor does his best Eagles impression for a one-yard touchdown. That made it 12-7. That was the score after the first quarter. We head to the second, the Quips adding more onto their lead. Quentin Good rolls to his right, throws a laser to Demarcus Walker, a 27-yard touchdown pass. That extends the lead to 18-7. Seals Grove, though, did a great job on responding whenever they needed to. Pastor. Finds his fullback, Ethan Miller, breaks the tackle into the end zone. The 15-yard grab brings the Seals within five.
but just too much from the Quips offense. Tequai Hayes goes untouched, 54 yards all the way to the end zone. The Seals, unbelievable season, does come to a close tonight in the semifinals, falling 52 to 32. A quick break, but when we come back, we'll check in with South Williamsport in their semifinal matchup, plus a couple of winter sports starting up, wrestling and basketball highlights on the way.